Have a midweek meeting between yourselves to discuss possible topics that you could bring to the table on a Friday night, says Hans. No, there is none of that, but you'd be an idiot to uh, be on that show and not read the paper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean yeah, everyone yeah. knows what sort of the big news stories are of the week, and if you, if you didn't come loaded with a couple of ideas about that, but by and large... The best stuff, I think, the stuff I enjoy is the off-the-cuff. Yeah, definitely. Off-the-cuff stuff. <laughs> you experienced some of that last night, Simon. D- I did. Do you, do you have a chance, though, when you've said something that you go, oh, I regret saying that, I might have bagged someone, do you have a chance to go back and take it out? <laughs> Why is Jeremy pointing to me to answer this one? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we do. Look, there's been a number of times where I will say something, because I, I won't think before I speak, I'll just say it, and then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But there's been yeah, yeah, a number of times they ignored me and put it in, and it was some flippant comment that I made about, my wife, which <laughs> may have made her sound a bit slutty. Um, which she is certainly not. She is certainly not in any way, shape or form. And I sort of trusted them that they would maybe take it out, and they didn't. And I watched the show, and she hadn't watched the show, and she sat down to watch it the next day, and I went, when you're watching the show, there's a bit about maybe six minutes in, I'd make a cup of tea during that point, if that were... And if not, I'm really sorry, and I left the house. Which was a bad call. Cool, because that means they will pay Rumor far going more attention. Apparently, that there's going to be a DVD made of all the outtakes of Seven Days. Is that true? Oh, I'd love it. I'd, I'd love absolutely that. love it. That would be cool. We we, it's people obviously don't know MediaWorks and TV3 and the budget they're in. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for that to happen, and uh, hopefully, well, I'll tell them. I'll tell them we got a text. I'll yeah. say, I'll yeah, take yeah. it back. I'd yeah. love to do that. People there's would love it. Stuff. One more question, and then we'll go to a break and, and have some more in a moment. Di, do you get to see anything in advance, such as the caption, this pictures, etc.? Wait around for a bit and have a bit of a thing called look at each other, and all that gets taken out. So the editors make us look amazing. I mean, obviously, we do pay attention to um, what's going on in the news, and like, if there are some big stories that'll be talked about, we'll get a bit of a heads up and a... This is this is what's going down here and there, but um, but but no, I mean it's all a bit of a bit, bit of fun and games. Great, right? We failed me. <laughs> um, I, the closest I came was probably on the show being slapped by Hone Harawera. Who, oh, um, oh yes, yeah. I just, he was doing your um, job, Simon. Who was on Yes, yes Minister. Minister? Right. I am um, sort of what I thought was an innocuous comment of going. Um, so when your wife comes home, Hone, does she open the door and go, Hone, I'm home, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, and then he just turned around and sort of aggressively slapped me on the face. And, really? Uh, <laughs> no, I just, I, I, I like the idea of driving around a small area, knowing a bit too much about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Reading their mail. Yeah, and then, and then it's a bit like my current job. I can go down the RSA of an evening, have a jar, and, and I know a bit too much. I can ask some questions, <laughs> take, take the mickey out of them. Well, it worked for David Bain. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what would you do if you weren't doing this? Oh, God, I'd probably be in prison. I don't know. You're um, a sign writer. Yeah, well, I am That's a sign writer. Right. I'd probably go back to that, I think. Are you genuinely a sign I do miss a, a good writer? font. Yeah, I'm a sign writer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, give him to write something. I love a font. Oh. I'll write your name down. What's your favourite at the moment? Tahoma? Are you still oh, I'm still, I'm, well, I'm enjoying Calibri if yeah, I type yeah, a document, yeah, yeah, but yeah. everyone's into Calibri. Yeah, I need to find top. something. Uh, I reckon Veranda. Oh, Veranda's Veranda. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verdana. Verdana's good. Bustier. Verdana. Good. I don't know if you've... Veranda. I actually said Veranda to a font expert. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Yeah, no, well. Every time I read Verdana, Verdana, yeah, Verdana, I've read Veranda, right? Veranda. I've read the font as Veranda and until recently, when I was talking to Jeremy, and he said, it's Verdana. Oh, yeah. veranda. I better go and pull my veranda down there. <laughs> it's on the wrong side of the house. You see, you must be a perfectionist then, Paul, which means that possibly you're a real pain in the backside to live with. Would you be pretty fussy? Yeah, I do critique my kids' homework quite a bit, and um, regardless of whether they've got it right, I generally kind of go, well, it's, yeah, that is correct, but the font is appalling. It's hurting my eyes. Go to bed. And, um, yeah, so I am quite picky when it comes to writing. Oh, Fair funny. enough. A yeah. couple more questions before we let you go. Uh, what's one thing about your appearance that you don't like, Jeremy? Oh, where would you start, Jeremy? Why, why, yeah. why are you asking me that one? <laughs> it's obviously your guts. It's nice. <laughs> to be honest, you're being lovely. Big night last night, so back to one of these guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a, b- a big night, for instance, if Charlie Sheen was a, into Miami wine cooler rather than uh, cocaine, that would be a perfect description of Jeremy right now. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, well, we'll leave Jeremy out for now then. But... Well, I'd lose a bit of weight. There you go. Okay. okay. What would, what's oh, one right. thing you don't like about your appearance? Uh, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> generally, we're both seen together in a year. Oh, yeah. Stops me from getting the chicks. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I said that. Can we get eyes most do. of the time? Yeah. But that's because I have to. I've, I've actually got glaucoma. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's, I'm floating. Being in. bigger than you, not not big enough. Yes, body. my skin's very tight for my body. <laughs> not big That's for it. Body. It is. Look at his fingers. Incredible. Look at his. Fi- it's not his skin's not big enough for his body. Thankfully, my testicles are very loose. So <laughs> if I can just pull those up and round a bit, we'll be fine. <laughs> this is um, all right on the station. Yeah, eh? yeah. This is good. This and, is good. And Di, what's one uh, thing you don't stand now? Up? A lot of people mock me for being short. Do right. They? right. Yeah. Now that's the the go to gag for a lot of people. Um, I. I actually would want to be shorter. <laughs> so, too tall for an adult male. But not, but not short enough to fit into a category where I can get a lot of gigs like hobbits and so forth. So I'd, I'd probably maybe want to drop... I'd rather drop a foot. I'd drop a foot. I'd get, even, I'd get shorter. So if I could live in a pair of Converse shoes, <laughs> that, that'd be enough for me. People do, people do ask that question, but then you've got to remember a lot of the time Di has a photo taken with me. I'm 6'2", and what are you, Paul? Paul's I'm 6'5". I'm 6'5". So anyone next to us is not going to look tall. Yeah. Right? And also, oh can I just God. say... If You're so short, did you get an audition for The Hobbit? Da, 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 and I had to go... I'll just stop you there. You're exactly the same height as me. <laughs> like, you're exactly the same height as me. What's going on here? No, nah, you're so short and go, right. no, you're looking me directly in the eyes. What's going on? <laughs> so people do believe a lot of what they hear on TV. However, if you're watching um, the video, any video of this, I am actually on tiptoe. He is. But he that's is. because I, but that's, that's because I feel more comfortable. The mic is on an adjustable stand. I could bring it down, but I choose not to. I'd rather stand on You're gonna rise up. I'm going to rise up. <laughs> I'm also just working my um, calves for the heels I'm going to wear oh. in a cup day. <laughs> Look, we can, you guys Beautiful are calves. brilliant. Oh, you are brilliant. Oh, Jeremy so Corbett, much. Paul Ego and Frodo. <laughs> <It's> been, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Pleasure. It's just lovely to have you. And Seven Days Cheers. tomorrow uh, is on telly, I think, 9.30, 930. TV3, uh, Seven Days. Thanks again, you boys. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Coming up, man who ate his dog. <laughs> He's just, he's just read our script. Yeah, it's Sai's idea. Is that a teaser? Or like, no, I haven't read it. I won't tell you what happened to the dog. No, right. <laughs> this is more FM. Archibald's out. He would like you to make a sound financial decision. Save your money.